Hi, welcome to the Let's Create YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at some simple crochet stitches. Once you've mastered doing your chain, the next thing obviously is the stitches. So we've got um, single crochet, which is an American term for double crochet. Then there's the American double, which is the same as a UK triple. So there are some slight differences and I'll pop a little um, link in the description box. Sometimes you might have a pattern if you're not sure whether it's UK or US terms, because it can make a big difference, is if you see SC or single crochet, you know it's American terms because we don't have that in UK crochet. Um, often you can kind of tell, so if it was amigurumi or however it's pronounced, if you're making dolls and things, it's almost always single crochet, which is a UK double. Um, so first of all, get the yarn and the hook you want to use. You can use anything to practice with. Sometimes a uh, chunkier the yarn the easier it is to see stitches when you're learning so today I've got this uh, Starcraft special and it suggests a four mil crochet hook this bit here is a tension so if you was making something like a garment um, you should really test the tension first so 22 stitches should be 10 by 10 centimeters however I don't think I've ever done that once um, for anything, you tend to just learn what your tension's like and can adjust. So, four mil crochet hook is what it suggests. So, that's what I'm going to be using today. With the wool as well, you can either take this band off um, and find the loose end and unwind it that way. In those cases, a yarn bowl is helpful or something to hold your wool still so it can spin. Or, and this is how my nan always taught me to do it, was to pull from the centre and you'll find the end. The only downside with this, uh, often happens with cheaper yarns, is you can end up with basically knots in the middle. Or yarn bath, as it's more affectionately known. Um, so I'm going to pull from the centre, just because that's how I always work it. I'm not in the end of that one. So just because we're practising stitches today, I'm just going to start with... Um, a chain of 10 and we'll start with single crochet which is a UK double crochet so if I just chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 obviously start with however many you want to practice with so if you wanted 10 single crochets so that you can actually get 10 single crochet stitches in you need an extra one for basically turning and working your way back. So for single crochet, that is one extra chain. That's now your first chain from the hook. So your first stitch you're gonna work your single crochet into is this one here, because this was stitch number 10. Okay, so for a single crochet, you just go in through the stitch, pull up a loop, you'll have two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through both. So now that chain is allowing us to turn and we've got our first single crochet stitch. And do that again. Through, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now this is where you'll find if you've done your chain very tight, then it can be hard to get that hook through. The same with doing your single crochets. The tighter you do these, the harder it is to get your hook through on the next row. So if you go through and you're finding it's too tight, it's because you're pulling this um, end that's attached to your wool too tight and it's then making this very small. Oops. And it makes that V there. If I just do another one so I can show you a bit easier. So there's your Vs, which are your stitches for your next row. Just move that light slightly easier to see. Sorry about that. There we go. So this is the one that we did quite tight there compared to the normal ones. So you can see that this one that we did tight is quite small. That makes it harder on the next row to get your stitches in. So we'll just single crochet to the end of your sample piece or blanket, whatever it is you're going for. Because another thing is making sure you get into the last stitch. So this here, where your knot is, this here is your last stitch. So do your last single crochet into there. Yarn over, 
we'll pull through two. We should now have ten stitches. So if you need to count to double check on any work that you're doing, it's easiest to count the V's. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So to work back along again, a single crochet is sort of the equivalent of a chain one. So again, we need to turn. So we chain one, turn your work around, you know, working on the wrong side. And this is again, what catches most people out on starting out is where that first stitch goes. Sometimes people put it in there, that then gives you an extra stitch. Or sometimes you miss this stitch and end up in that one, which then pulls your work in and you'll only have nine stitches or one less. So you've chained one and turned and it's this first V here that you want to be working into. So again, that's single crochet. And this will then give you a straight line on the end. And you want to make sure when your hook's going through into your stitches, you're going through both parts of that V. And that is just a normal single crochet. You may get on some pieces of work where it might say BLO, which usually means back loops only. So this applies to any stitch. If that was the case, where this V is, you would just go through the back one, continue your stitch as normal, and that would leave this front loop free and loose. That can be handy if you're joining a second piece together or you're trying to create a ridge. I've had it on a, a few different pieces. So this is now how your single crochet would look. Just get to the end and show you that last stitch. So again, this is where we usually go wrong as beginners, is make sure that you're getting this very last stitch here. It may look sometimes like that is straight. You want this last stitch here. That is your last single crochet. And I would highly recommend if you are obviously beginning, you find your work's wonky is that at the end of every row there's no harm in counting again. So just make sure you've still got 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Do that for as long as you feel necessary. I still do it now if I'm, you know, doing unusual stitches. So after single crochet, you've then got a half uh, double crochet, or in the UK it would be a half treble. So for that, we would chain two. Okay, so for a half double, a half treble, you would yarn over, go into your stitch, pull up a loop, and go through all three. So do that again, yarn over, into the stitch, pull up a loop, Go through all three. So continue doing that on your sample piece until you get to the end. And then we will do a double or a triple in the UK. So where it gets confusing because a double means something different in the UK and the US. So we will do, oops, go through. Okay. So now if we're moving on to a US double or a UK treble, I'm going to chain three because this stitch is slightly bigger than a half. And this time you're going to yarn over again, go into your stitch and pull up a loop. You've got three loops on the hook. Yarn over, just pull through the first two and then yarn over and pull through the last two. So again, this is a UK treble, US double, yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more time.
Okay. See how that stitch is quite a bit taller. So there's the singles, the half doubles, the doubles. So again, I'll go to the end. And the last one we'll do is um, a UK double treble or a US, I'm pretty sure it's just called a double double. <laughs> Okay, so this time we're going to chain four because the stitch is even taller. One, two, three, four. This time we're going to yarn over twice. So yarn over once, yarn over twice. You've now got your stitch that you're in, your loop on your hook, sorry, and then two wrap overs. Go into your stitch and pull up a loop. You've now got four chains on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And there you see you've got quite a tall chain. So again, yarn over twice, into the stitch, pull up a loop. This is something else that happens when you pull from the middle. Is sometimes you go to pull and it gets a little bit stuck. I'm not sure why my nan always taught me to do it that way because it does seem tricky. And there's yarn bath. Um, I've got a dirty hand from changing my tire. <laughs> it's been a busy morning. There you go. I've found if you get a tangle, you still always make them worse, but if you just give them a bit of a... <laughs> I'm not sure. A bit of fluffing, <laughs> shall we say, with your fingers, it'll undo. So yarn over twice, through the stitch, yarn through two, through two, through two. And you see you get a quite tall stitch. So with these... So the four basic stitches you can do almost any. It's also good once you can master the different stitches is you can then make things sort of wavy. So if that was um, a double treble, we could then do a treble. Then do a half treble. Then do a single. Do a half treble treble and a double treble and you see you get a little wave then because you're creating long and short stitches it's quite fun to have a play around with and it's all just practicing at this stage and that is how you'll often create shapes in your work as well Obviously, there's other things that come after, like front post trebles, so although they sound like complicated stitches, um, once you get the hang of the terminology, it starts making sense, um, and then you can create anything. So have a go at those, have a go at practicing some stitches, make sure that you're going into the last stitch of your row, and you, you're finishing in the last stitch, and you're starting in the first stitch. Um, that's the most common issue that people have is that you know you'll make a scarf and it'll sort of go like this that's what happens when I try and knit so <laughs> uh, I totally understand the frustration and that's it so there you go uh, come and join the Facebook group crochet collective share what you've been making um, and if you could also give the video a like and just click subscribe I'm hoping to do a new video every week so you'll be able to see the next lessons and anything um, else done in between as well uh, I'd really appreciate it. So thanks very much. Thanks for watching.